Hey y'all, it's your girl Sashi E. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to do the banding method. So this is the method that I use to stretch my hair whenever I'm gonna do a protective style. So whenever my hair looks like it's blow dried, it's not it's the banded method that I use to accomplish a blowout look. I also use this to stretch my wash and goes because as y'all know, my hair shrinks up to like here. So sometimes I do want a little bit more length and the banded method gives me that. I also like using the banded method because it's very simple. I don't need a lot of products. I don't have to spend a lot of time to accomplish this. Um, so you can go in with any leave-in conditioner of choice. The one that I'm using right now is the Maya Organics Pomegranate and Honey Leave-In Conditioner. I also uh, will be using an oil to seal so I will be going in with my DIY uh, aloe vera oil if you haven't seen that video I will link it above in the cards and then you will need some thick type uh, elastic bands so these are the ones that I'll be using and I also use regular rubber bands so I know a lot of people are concerned about using regular rubber bands in their hair I've never had an issue but I know a trick that you can use to reduce the snagging that you may experience is you can get some of your rubber bands and just add a little bit of oil to it rub it around and this should really help <laughs> this should really 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 help with the snagging that you may experience so yeah y'all let's get into it all right guys so let's get started um just to explain what's going on in my hair right now i just did a co-wash i used the aussie miracle moist conditioner and i also uh deep conditioned my hair with this one all right guys so my hair is in a very 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 shrunken state um, it's very moisturized. That's why I don't mind my shrinkage, but it is what it is. So we're going to go ahead and we are going to get started. So I have this little section here. I haven't even detangled yet, you guys, but we're just going to add some leave-in conditioner. We're gonna add it to the section. Then we're gonna take a little bit of oil, not too much. Put that on there. Then I'm gonna use my detangling brush. And then I'm gonna use one of these thick scrunchies. I'm gonna start at the root. Doesn't have to be tight. You guys see that? Perfect. And then I like to go in with a rubber band for the rest. All right, that's perfect. All right, guys, so this is the first one that we have so far, and I already got a little bit of lamp, so I'm feeling neat. So let's move on to another section. Wow, look at the difference from here to here. Okay, so we're gonna go in with some more leave-in conditioner. Just doing one little pump. Nothing too crazy, just one pump. And then we're gonna massage that into your hair. So then we're going to go in with some aloe vera oil. Yes, ma'am. And we're going to massage that into the hair as well. So then we're going to take our detangling brush. Go start at the ends. And we're going to just detangle it away. Perfect. 
perfect nice and smooth nice and smooth okay so then we're gonna go in with one of our thicker elastic bands we're gonna start from the root and we're gonna start banding so we are gonna be wrapping that elastic band in a downward motion so that the hair can stretch You guys see that? I wrapped it going downwards. So the ends are starting to curl up a little bit. So we're going to go back in with my detangling brush. So now we're going to go in with the rubber band for the rest of the hair. And we're going to do the same thing. Pretty much just wrap it going in a downward motion down the hair shaft. perfect so we have two down perfect okay guys so when I do my wash and goes because I also use this me method to stretch my wash and goes this is the amount of hair that I leave out. So when I'm doing a wash and go style and I'm trying to, you know, just stretch it a little bit but still keep my curl definition, I usually leave out about this much. But for this style, since I'm trying to have a blowout look, I'm gonna go all the way down with the rubber band. All right, y'all, so these are the results of the banding. It's looking really nice and stretched. All right, guys, so I am back and I'm gonna show you guys the final results. So everything's looking really, really good. And as far as how I take out the rubber bands I do pop them and just let them fall out so it's looking nice and stretched so I'm gonna move on You guys, look at my hair. Oh my goodness. You would never be able to tell that I have this much hair on my head. Shrinkage is so real. Oh my gosh. But anyways, this is what I do every time I wanna do some type of stretch style. So generally before I do my protective styles, I do stretch my hair. Um, it makes it easier for me to comb through it. And it's just, it's just it just makes the, the styling process way easier. And yeah, y'all, that is it for today. Ooh, my hair growing, yes. Do y'all see that? I feel like I'm almost at armpit length. Almost at armpit length. <laughs> 
but yeah guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video go ahead and give me a huge thumbs up also don't forget to leave a comment let me know what method you like or what method you prefer when it comes to stretching your hair also don't forget to hit that subscribe button turn on your notification bell and follow me on instagram at sashi.tv bye guys